to Jones. The master of mischief against England trying to do it here in Dublin, and he's gone away. And Hogg is in isolation. Oh, no! Not quite the Calcutta Cup. Tomachowski to Friesland, again playing out the back, and Hallam Amos has lacerated that Saracens midfield. Options left and right. Oh, oh no. it's an open goal. Oh, dear. There in front of him, Owen Lane. He takes his eyes off it and he knows straight away, doesn't he? Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Don Morris really, really passive in that 13 channel when he needed he needed to give Jackson Ray less work to do. I've got a penalty advantage. First phase, strike play for Moroni, who's ghosting through the gap. Moroni gives it on to Boffelli. And if he'd taken that, he was scoring at the corner. They will play with pace and play with tempo. And there's a great break. Well, fullback on fullback. Looked for the hole, went for the gap. I think the pass was on to Yamada there. He should have gone for it. He was in two minds and got creamed uh, for, the, for the sake of it. But uh, good start by Japan. Got to take that ball. Just about the Ospreys. Hold on. Good hands. Dan Evans. Is he going to give it? Oh! He saw the gap open up. The visitors showed some sparks of the play that have brought them 10 tries the previous week against Sale. But when their best chance came, Robinson threw the ball over the head of Charlie Sharples. Off goes Cowan. Cowan with the cap and Visser. Oh, a forward pass. But okay, thank you. Keeping some hands on it. Cowan and Visser and just forward and Tim didn't get the handle on it anyways. Letter, well, he juggled, but he kept his eye on the ball, so did Carbonell. There's Garbisi, and he might have an extra man here in Boutier, but the referee blows straight away. He was in line for the forward pass. The ball is recuperated by the Castres. Yes, well done, the return to the interior of Brisbane. And behind, with Rémi Lamora, with his son extérieur, for the solution. Oh, he's forgotten the surnumbre. Rémi Lamora. He's not going to lose his ball. A very swift rebound for Kvesic. And here's Torbjries. And surely the pass had to go. Johnny May was screaming blue murder for the ball. They've got the penalty. They should have had the try. We're Brilliant by Kvesic oh, early on. He's had a cracking start. Great vision here at pace. Two on one. Schoolboy stuff. You've got the far. Look at the anger on Johnny May there. He was the guy that actually should have been in the ruck. He was so angry and quite rightly so disgusted. Ben, that is an international England centre missing a two-on-one. Comfortable with ball in hand, and now they have the penalty advantage. Beautiful pass from Russell and Williams. And Josh Adams away to his right. It may have been on for the Welsh duo. Williams should have let that go. It was a two-on-one overlap. Adams, with his finishing skills, could have gone in, but really broken field opportunities at this stage where Williams just needed to get the ball down to Adams, and they were in business. Beautifully weighted, beautifully delivered, in the perfect spot. And here is Ben Thornton, no! For Ken Peasy on the outside. Oh, it was all going so well. So the ball is still alive, Hamilton once more. Now Soparanga gets it away. Here is Vicky Toa. Got it away to Lee, tripped over some fallen bodies though. Priestland. Scott Williams! Scott Williams! Hadman outside him went on his own. Well to his dying day, to my dying day, and everyone else is here. Will not know why that ball was not given with a two-man overlap. Just see it here now. Oh, Look at them the queuing up. The wow. Simple running. Like One, two, three, four, five, six, seven men on the outside. Neil wide for left. Clarity has seen it and has decided to call for reinforcements. Tao Fua. Tao Fua bustles his way through the gap then. Keeps the ball brilliantly. Zach Henry. Man inside him. Henry. Henry needs to get the ball alive. Oh, he's taken the wrong decision. To Asui. Lovely pick up from Hastings. And striding forwards is Sassino. Oh, 
strike oh. options left and right. Didn't see Mian on the inside. Certain try that. Got to be Lewis Rizamas. A couple of really, really good breaks. I thought they'd missed the try when he had Mian on his inside there. Jonathan Davis. George North. That little that saved him. Oh, the pass surely would have done it. Yeah, Wills working well. They've got the mismatch they wanted. Jonathan Davis on Danny K. For Georgia, and he should have kept the ball in hand then. And now Hill. Oh, that's brilliant from Malins. How does Malins get underneath that? He's got some help. Can't quite see who it's from, but he knows he's going to lose the battle, so he concedes the ground. Well, I tell you what, Joe Simmons is doing his absolute nut because if Hill had just looked up, Simmons would have walked in completely unopposed. Nice hands from Tommy Allen, the Harlequin, but it's fallen to Ramos. And a chance here for a breakaway for France right at the start. Oh, Pedro! The man who doesn't make a mistake drops the ball with the try line calling him. Well, yes, France have to do better than that. Just in you'd expect as that ball's put inside to one of the top finishers in world rugby that that is game over. But you make your own luck. Thanks to injury, Mark Taylor. There's the weakness of Charlie Hodgson. He's not the biggest Mark Taylor. Reese Williams outside. You're telling us it's Oh, no! He had two men with him. Ball's gone loose. What a wasted opportunity for Wales. He did all the hard work. Watch this. That poor tackling from Charlie Hodgson. Our page is working. So look, one, two, get it! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So much urgency about Camille Shan. Now then, Russell, get it away to Fiku. Onwards now for Toma. I'll tell you, Toma, just waving over to his opposite wing. This should have gone. Here, it's got to go. And he covers, drives himself. Laidlaw, Laidlaw, longer ball, slightly loose. Horn, Horn's got a bit of magic in his toes if he wants it. There he goes, springing through. Peter Horn, ooh, the pass was on. Oh, Peter, the pass was on. Aston and Aston, Hewitt, Hewitt, Amendi Ian, Hewitt, and David Diterio. Oh, and Dean Aston, Hewitt, when Diterio knocked him. It's gone to ground, there's Hendrickson. Hendrickson, missed by Creel and by Pollard. Halant. A little quick step, feeds the ball out, the ball's gone forward. Ian, Cowan, men out to the left, had to go. A little later than advertised, but it's reached Homer. And here's Hassel Collins breaking free, two on one. Irish have to convert this. Hassel Collins, oh dear. The pass nowhere near where it needed to be. And does everything right okay. up until this moment, and that's where you just have to be far more to accurate. Max Evans, the leap for Scotland. is open up here, if he goes, he's away. Oh. Cusseter almost frees himself, just keeps the ball in play. Sean Lambert has Kelly Brown with him. Four in by oh, Ian Miles. Forward by a mile. That is a dreadful pass. Now can Leinster capitalise. Are they going to nip the jugular of Bath here? Oh, Brown, all of three men outside. And they were screaming for the ball. And they are furious with O'Brien. Decision. Fortunately, there for Siakalisi, lovely get his hands through. Behind Jesse Creel with an open try line. Matarese, long to Nandolo, Nandolo to Mataringo, to Nguera. Nguera goes on his own with two outside him. Hardy has a little go down that left hand side, he's done brilliantly, and he can release it. Oh, Evans, if he'd have released him, he would have scored. Van der Merwe hunted down by Peno, Van der Merwe gives it up to Harris, options are wide for Scotland, oh, Stuart Hardy with a try line at his mercy. Tried Blanchard, didn't work, oh, and they must score here, surely. can come through George North. Interception by Uge. Well, Wales right. with a clear overlap. Oh, they couldn't take advantage and France win the penalty. Nick Evans now operating in the centre. That's Tom Guest. Inside his clip. Oh, he takes that, he scores.